Welcome, folks, to the blindfolded microphone test. Where's the blindfold? Boom. So we're going to be blindfolding up Izzy. Mm -hmm. We're going to be getting her to sing through a grand total of eight microphones that we have here at our studio, Summerland Studio. And we're going to try and figure out which one she enjoys singing through the most. Yep. And we're going to do it in two parts. Part one and then part two, because I feel like four microphones... Wait, wait, wait that's four. Four. Four microphones. Four microphones in each part is probably enough because otherwise I can't remember which one I've been like doing so. And then should we like put them in order and yeah. then put an order of heat two and then we'll put those two together? That seems like a reasonable yeah. way. I think that's like kind of scientific enough. That is. So really there's going to be three parts. And I'm going to be wearing this lovely Frida Carlo mask. Izzy, do you want to maybe like go out there and then I'm going to set the mics? I will. I'm going to put this mask on. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. Let me just actually like try this on. Izzy. Yes? You, you realise that it's going to take me about 10 minutes to set these mics up. I don't think you want to keep this blindfold on for the whole time. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's, that's ridiculous. Bye! <laughs> okay, so I've sent Izzy out. I'm going to set up the mics for part one. Uh, I've got this beautiful Austrian audio one. I'm really hoping she likes this guy. Uh, and I've got a little Roya R101 here. A bit of a curveball. She'll probably think it's a bit dull. This is her tried and tested favourite. She loves singing through this Aston Spirit. Wouldn't normally use this guy for vocals, but this AKG is a bit of a studio classic. And I thought I'd dig it out as it's another large diaphragm condenser. We'll see what she thinks of it. That's what's going to be in part one. Let's get her back in here and we'll crack on. First, I'll pop these mics on the stands though. I'm gonna set some mics up here. Should we do one of those clap things? Mics. Microphones. Wait, wait. Microphones? Come on down here then. Yes, yes. Yeah, cool. okay. Okay. So, yeah. so I'm just gonna put the pop shield on. I mean, I don't understand how anyone sleeps in a mask like this. It's really uncomfortable. You have some headphones just here. Um, can you hear it coming through the mic? Hello, I think I can. Okay, do we try a take? Yeah. Here we go. Pouring water over ashes to smell the smoke. Beautiful. Okay, what did you think about this microphone? It's quite good. Quite good? Yeah, it's very clear. Okay. And I can hear my voice nicely. Okay, so we're yeah. putting this is good. Nice. This is mic number one. Okay. Uh, shall I move you on to the next microphone? Yes, do a shuffle this way. You do? Give us a little shuffle. How far? I'm going to just move this pop shield now. Continuity. Where is it? There? Yeah. Okay, can you hear yourself on that mic? Do, do. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Give me uh, a little pouring water over. Pouring water over ashes to smell the smoke. Beautiful delivery. Okay, so... This is mic number two, and I think it's a little bit more dull. I think it's a bit dull. Not so many highs in kind of like what I can hear. Yeah. And also, I mean, it's still pretty clear. It's a little yeah. bit quieter. Okay. I've tried to gain um, you the same where okay. possible. But yeah, I feel like it's a little bit duller. Do you, in terms of singing through the recording experience, which one do you prefer out of that one and the one before? The first one. Okay. I also feel like with this one, you made a point that I had to stay in a certain position. So I feel like I was trying to not move my head around so much. Okay, no, that doesn't really matter. I think um, I was just trying to make sure as you've got that mask on that you're actually facing the right way. Okay, next mic. Yeah, I'm gonna move the pop shield forward. That's it to there. Okay, so this is mic number three. Okay, okay. mic number three. Ooh. This mm -hmm. one's bright. Yeah, it might be a little bit louder as well. I like this one. Yeah? Already, G just from the how it sounds. I don't know. Give me a pouring water over. Pouring water over ashes to smell the smoke. Yeah, okay, what do you think of this one? This is very clear. Yeah? Yeah. Also, more high is like number one. Yeah. Do you think like you prefer it to number one? Ooh, I think, think so. Or does it sit in the middle? No, I think this is my favorite. This is the top mic now. Right. So take Ooh. a little step forward just to there. That's perfect. You're down the barrel of the gun. Shall we try a little take on this one? Pour it. Yeah. Pouring water over ashes to smell the smoke. 
Okay, where does that one sit? I feel like this one's also a little bit more dull. Okay. Or not dull is maybe the wrong way to describe it. It just has a bit more bottom end. Okay. I'm not such a fan of this one. Okay. So where might this go in the leaderboard? I think this one is number three. Okay. So to recap. Number... Don't touch them. Oh. Just because if you touch them, you might Sorry. know what mic it is. Number three was my favorite. Yeah. Then number one. Yeah. Then number four. Then number two. Okay. Okay, so I'm setting up for round two of this blind mic test. Got some slightly, I guess, more curveball mics this, uh, this round. SM7B classic, but it's a dynamic, whereas the others were all large diaphragm condensers, apart from the ribbon, of course. This guy, who knows? This was made for us, it's a custom made mic for two ways home, by Roots Microphone. Um, I guess it's a little bit like the Ear Trumpet Labs um, mics, so we'll see what Izzy thinks, see which one she likes. She's just outside the door, I don't think she can hear me though. And we've got this guy, which is a modeling mic, we're not going to use the modeling, we're just going to test out the mic. Okay, the fourth mic is a very humble Rode NT1. I think this was the first studio mic I ever got, really. First large diaphragm condenser. Uh, we'll see how it stacks up against the rest, and we better get Izzy back in. Izzy, we're ready for you. Uh, yeah, 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 a little bit more, a little bit more. And then there, and then there's the pop shield. No touch the mic behind, no cheating. There you go. Part two of mic testing. Here we go. Oh, number one. Mic oh. number one. Oh, this sounds kind of good. You like that, do you? I already like it. Okay, here we go. Do, do. Pouring water over ashes to smell the smoke. Yeah, what did you think of that guy? I think it's very sibilant. Yeah. So when I do an S, it's quite uncomfortable in my ears. Yeah, no, that's quite unusual. Yeah. It is particularly sibilant. Yeah. Okay. Very sibilant, but it's clear. Okay. So let's move over to mic number two. Give me a little pouring water over. Pouring water over ashes to smell the smoke. Lovely vocal delivery there. Any thoughts on this mic? It's definitely not as bright as this first one here. Mm-hmm. Um, it's quite a nice rounded sound, actually. Yeah. I like this one more than this one. Okay. Because it's less sibilant. It's more comfortable to sing through. Let's try just moving you over to the next mic. Here is mic three. Pouring water over ashes to smell the smoke. Penultimate mic, what do you think of this one? Okay, so mic number three. I think it's a little bit brighter than mic number two. Okay. But not as bright as mic number one. Okay. So therefore I like singing through this one. Yeah. The best. I like this one the most out of these three mm -hmm. at the moment. Okay. I'm moving on to the fourth and final mic of part two or eight mics in total that you've tested today. Let's give it a go. Pouring water over ashes to smell the smoke. Hmm, what did you think of this guy then? This one's definitely my favorite out of this lineup. Is it? Yeah. Instant, a clear winner here. Yeah, because it's quite top endy. Yeah. Got a lot of highs, so it's very clear, but I don't have the sibilance of the first one. Okay. So I feel like number four is the winner in this round. Wow, okay. Then it was number three. Actually, they're in the correct order. So four, three, two, one. Okay, interesting stuff. Take your eye makeup off. <laughs> the eye makeup, the eye mask. Sorry, the eye mask off. Oh, it's taken your eye makeup off there a little bit. Now I need to do, you want to go do my makeup again. Go freshen that up. Okay, so I'm setting up the winner of each heat. Humorously, Izzy's favorite mics are probably the most affordable mic I have in the studio, and one of the more bougie mics. Okay, both the mics are ready. I'm gonna go grab Izzy, and we're gonna see which one she likes more. Right, 
Should okay. we try to take? Yeah. There's still more heat in the heart you broke and hope. So I'll keep sending you a signal in the smoke. Hey, Izzy, you're getting quite good at uh, singing this song. Great. Sounded pretty great. Right, what do you think of this one, first off? This is great. Okay, good. Fire. Just changing over the pop shield. You're Izzy. on fire. Oh, no, not you're on fire. We're on fire. Here we go. There's still more heat in the heart you broke and hope. So I'll keep sending you a signal in the smoke. Okay, so... The golden question, let me get this out of your face. Which one do you think you preferred out of these two? Well, there's a clear winner. Is there? The winner is number one. This one. Great. Well, it's because go on. when I sing through these two, I can hear that this one here, the number one, is a lot clearer. Yeah. Whereas this one is a lot duller. Really? And also it seems like this one's more hi-fi. Really? Whereas this one has a bit more like crunchiness. Okay. This could also like this could be a nice kind of effect if you want that kind of like crunch in your voice. Yeah. Then this could be a cool one to take. Yeah. But if you want a clear vocal and you want it kind of to sound very pristine, I would say number one. Yeah. Take those headphones off. And take that mask off there. Take the Frida off. Ah. Hey! Of course the Austrians won. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's draw some conclusions from this blindfolded microphone test. Izzy, what do you think generally of like all of the mics? Is there any sort of summing up? Generally, they all sounded more similar than I thought. I would say maybe apart from... The Roya R101, the ribbon mic. Yeah, that, that was quite dull. And any others that like stood out? Well, the winner, which was the Austrian audio one. Oh, yeah. That definitely stood out to my ears. Just because it was very clear. So trust, I really liked it. Trust the Austrian to pick an Austrian. <laughs> but to be fair, <laughs> Austrians have been building great mics for years now. Um, I, think, I think it's interesting that the Rode NT1 was possibly a second. Yeah. Um which was great, definitely the second in our testing today. Um, and to be honest, each mic had a certain quality. So depending on your voice, you kind of have to choose which mic fits your voice. So for me, it was this one, but for someone else, it might have been this one or any of the other ones. Okay, drew yeah. some nice conclusions there. Hmm. So which one are we going to be using to record our new releases that we're going to release in time? Audio! <laughs> and I promise you, we are certainly not endorsed by these guys. You always have to say that. That's oh, yeah, what all the pros true. say. Yeah. We're not endorsed by any microphone companies at this stage, which is sad. <laughs> Maybe one day soon. See you later.